Hey, what's happening everybody? Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number nine of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over everything about the selection arrows that you may have always questioned. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, how do I know the difference between what arrow to use? And although there are three options, there's really only two arrows that you really need to be concerned with. And I'm going to uh, get into that right now. Um, this logo is a logo that I designed for a client of mine. It has some things that are grouped. So I'm going to show you how the, um, the different selection arrows actually uh, interact with grouped objects. So if we come up here right now, and we hover over any of these tools, it's going to say what the tool is and the keyboard command shortcut. So the selection tool is V on your keyboard or the direct selection tool. The white tool is the direct selection arrow or it's A on your keyboard. So let's just toy around with this real quick. If we're on our regular selection tool, we're gonna click and we're gonna grab this whole thing and move it. See, this is all grouped right now. The fact that it's grouped, it's obviously when you click it, it's going to move everything all at once. Now, if we double click in the group, you're gonna notice something that happens. You're gonna notice that up here, the, the, we have this gray bar that comes up. If I move this over, you're gonna see that it's basically it's in isolation mode. So it's really showing you what's within that group and everything else kind of grays down the page and showing you that you're focusing on certain elements of this group. You can now click an element in this group because you're in this isolation mode and you can basically do whatever you want to it. All right. You can come back in here. If you, um, if you had other groups, you could double click and even go even further and you're going to see a group goes into another group. I know this is very confusing. You definitely want to experiment and play around with this and you can hit the back one level up here. You see, you can go back to a level and go to where you originally we originally at, or you can back up one more time and get out of the whole thing. All right. I don't normally use those isolated modes uh, up there at all, because basically what I do is I either group things or ungroup them, or I use a direct selection or the regular selection. Now, the fact that this is all one group, like I mentioned earlier, you can hit the direct selection, hit A on your keyboard, and now you can come in here and you can move whatever elements you want. And if I come back to the regular selection, guess what? It's still in the same group. So let's come over to the direct selection again, the white arrow, and I'm going to move some things. One, two, three, and move this down here. Okay. If I come back here, my regular selection, guess what? I move this. It's all still grouped together. All right. The fact that you want groups, uh, thing reason you would group things is to keep things together, basically. Also with the direct selection, okay, you can manipulate the points on any shape or outlined text, basically. So if we click on this right here, we can now, you see how it, it turns, there's a little box over here, it's saying, okay, we're basically ready to select this point. So you can click this point and you can now do whatever you'd like with that point, all right? Also with the points, you're gonna have your curves come up here. All right. So you can mess around with that. You can play around. And I have an extensive pen tool tutorial coming up in this series uh, in a bunch more episodes. So you obviously stay tuned for that. But you cannot do this with the regular selection. You can see the point, you can click it, and it ain't gonna do anything. All right. It's just going to select that whole object. You have to hit A on your keyboard. So, you know, obviously it's, uh, you always wanna have your hand to the bottom of the keyboard. So when you're designing and you're on the regular selection, you can hit A really quick and then hover over the point. Now you could either hover over a point. So if we come in here, you're gonna notice it's a, it's a rectangle. There's obviously four points. You can grab a point there, you can grab a point there, but you can also click on a line segment. So click on a line segment and now you can open up that whole line segment just like so. So definitely something you want to toy around with. Um, but that is the big difference between the main selection tool and then the direct selection tool. Now, when it comes to this, the group selection tool, I'm going to draw a couple of shapes and kind of show you what it really does so you understand. Uh, I'm going to draw a quick square. I'm going to fill it with, say, red. Uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle and fill it with blue. And I'm going to make just an ellipse and I'm going to fill that with green. Actually, you know what? I'll do one more shape. I'll do a star okay, and we'll fill that with purple. Cool. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to this, these elements are obviously all on their own. None of them is are, are grouped yet. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two 
I'm going to come up to Object Group or Command G, and I'm going to group them. I'm now going to group all three of these, so we're going to hit Command G again. And one more time, I'm now going to group all four. So technically, we have four different groups within here. Now with the Group Selection tool, we're going to click it. There is no keyboard command shortcut to that. We're going to click on the first box, okay? And then all you have to do is click on it again. You're going to notice what happens. Boom. It gets the second, it, it gets the first thing that you group. You're going to click on it again, and it's going to go to the third group, and you're going to click on it again, and it's going to go to the fourth group. All right? The reason for this tool really, and like I said, I never use it, but I get how you could want to use it for certain things. If you have a lot of things grouped, um, you know, if you want to select individual groups, like in here, if I select this and I click it again, everything else is going to get selected because there's only two rounds of groups in there. But personally, um, I wouldn't worry about that because I've gotten, uh, through many, many years of print layout design and, uh, you know, uh, logo design, everything without using that tool. But I just obviously had to go over it anyway. But, um, Basically, yeah, that's the difference between the regular selection and the selection tool. Remember, the, uh, the direct selection tool gives you more options to use with points and line segments. And, uh, you know, again, if I hit A on my keyboard, I can actually marquee over a bunch of points and I can move them. Let's just do this and now click the point. And then we can move this and, and stretch everything at once. Or we could select, like I said, you could select a couple points or you could just select obviously that one point and do what you got to do with it. So definitely if you're new to this stuff, is obviously a whole new world. Play around with it. And let me know in the comments what uh, if you have any questions or what your thoughts are on this video. And uh, definitely subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. And I will see you all for the next episode in this new Adobe Illustrator series. Have a great night. Peace.